guys. So we're doing a little DIY today. I bought these materials from Michaels, except for the prints. The canvas is a 12 by 16, and I'm applying a matte Mod Podge to it. Mod Podge comes in a lot of different types, from matte to glossy, depending on what finish you want. The prints I bought a few years back from Etsy, and I decided to repurpose them. Honestly, you can print anything you can find online. Um, you can use, I've seen some cute Chanel logos of flowers, just whatever you want, whether it's your bedroom, your living room, your, your bathroom, in my case, um, anywhere you want to put it. In retrospect, I feel like this uh, step here, I should have applied a, a thicker layer of the Mod Podge, but you'll see what I mean um, when we get to later in the video. So as I said, I got these prints from Etsy. They were printed um, as a 5 by 7 mat, uh, like they're photos, and they're, you can put them together. I've seen um, different colors um, for those. I'm sure a lot of people have seen them. You can have them in like turquoise and yellow, um, orange and blue. It just depends. Um, my theme in my bathroom is purple and gray. So this went along with the theme. I don't really call myself um, a crafty person. So I figured this is easy enough for me to do and it's definitely easy enough for other people to try. See what I mean? I should have applied a thicker layer um, so that it would have uh, been a little bit more adhesive to the canvas. But I'm going to fix that later. Don't worry. So now you can see what that looks like all connected, which is really neat. And what I'm about to do now is apply um, a layer of the Mod Podge over the prints. Now this is just to help it uh, be cohesive and connect as one um, picture. And I don't want you to be concerned because the Mod Podge will dry clear, so it will not damage um, the image that, that's printed. I had, a, I had a really tough time with the corners because, because I already had used it. I had them on my wall in the bathroom previously, so when I went to apply this, the corners that were kind of curled up, I tried to flatten it before. Um, but that was to no avail, so um, that's the only problem that I ran into was that the corners didn't want to stay tacked down. Um, I ended up using uh, some of my hot glue to, um, to, to tack those down uh, towards the end.
This purple hydrangea along with other flowers at Michael's were 50% off. So this purple hydrangea I got was $8 originally, but I got it for $4. I figured I only needed one, which came out to be accurate. Um, you can also just buy one huge flower, like how they use flowers for like a flower wall. You can just buy the buds. Um, and you can just glue it to the painting, but I think the individual technique looks a little bit better in the end um, The result of you know gluing them took time, but I liked how it turned out
And there is my finished project. I am pretty happy about it. I only have a couple of more petals to put in. Um, but I love the texture of it and how it kind of just comes to life and pops out of the canvas. Um, please leave me a um, comment below if you decide to do that. Or please share a picture of what yours turns out to look like. Um, I'm hoping that you see that this is not that hard to do when you try it for yourself. Um, I'm going to give it a little bit of time to, to cool the glue and everything before I hang it up on the wall. But overall, I am very satisfied with, um, the way this turned out. And again, I used the hot glue gun after this video was, was finished to, um, go along the sides and kind of just tack it down so that it's all smooth and, you know, adhesive to the canvas. Okay, so there you have it, guys. That is the end of my DIY video. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and like this video. Um, please feel free to share it, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.